An RFID reader, quite simply, is a device that talks to and listens from an RFID tag. So in certain applications, in vehicular access control by way of example, the RFID reader transmits a signal which talks to a tag that doesn't have a battery on it. That tag uses the energy from the reader to power itself up and transmit back its uniquely identifiable code. So an RFID reader does two things. It talks and it listens. The difference between RFID readers primarily is, name, is distance because some RFID readers talk very short distances, some talk medium distances, and some, as in the example of headlight stickers, talk a very long distance. So that reader talks out and listens from headlight stickers. RFID readers and headlight stickers have a relationship like this. The reader transmits a signal to the headlight sticker, which is, of course, on the front of a vehicle. That headlight sticker receives that energy, collects it, charges itself up, and then transmits back that uniquely identifiable code. Now let's talk about some circumstances where headlight stickers don't work. If you're thinking about putting a, a headlight sticker on a Corvette that has pop-up headlights, probably not gonna work very well. If you're thinking about putting headlight stickers on a vehicle that has a gigantic brush guard on the front of that vehicle, think about a Land Rover or a Jeep that has a large brush guard on the front of it. Well, that's gonna interfere with that are that signal conversation between the reader and the headlight sticker, because it's a conversation. The reader talks out to the sticker and the sticker talks back to the reader. Anything that's gonna interfere with that conversation is gonna dramatically affect uh, the efficacy of, of the read range. So the read range is gonna be quite short on, again, one of those vehicles that, a Corvette that has pop-up headlights and of course, a vehicle that has a large brush guard. So if you've got a community that has those types of vehicles in, in its fleet, in its inventory, then you want to use an alternative to that. So for example, perhaps a hang tag, or if you're looking for a windshield sticker, there's a slightly larger form factor for a windshield sticker. And it's not nearly as hardy as a headlight sticker is because uh, it's designed to go on the interior of the vehicle, basically a, a climate controlled environment that's not open to rock impacts and things like that. RFID readers are mounted in juxtaposition to the stickers that are being used at that particular facility. And what I mean by that is this, that if you're, if you're committing to headlight stickers and every vehicle is going to have a headlight sticker on it, then that gives us a lot of flexibility. In places that are particularly beautiful, architecturally speaking, no one wants to have a, a big RFID reader that's seven or eight feet in the air. Think about a 14-inch by 14-inch antenna that's sort of in everybody's face. Nobody wants to deal with that because we put so much thought and energy and happiness into making that uh, architectural, the architectural details of that vehicular entry, we want it to be beautiful. And because we want it to be beautiful, nobody wants that big sort of almost institutional antenna in your face. Headlight stickers give us that opportunity that we didn't have before because we can take that antenna that which that's trip typically is seven and a half or eight feet in the, in the air and put that down at the 36 inch level down where it's not noticeable and is often lower than other of the gate entry devices, I'm thinking of a barrier arm operator by way of example, the headlight sticker can mount either straight to the front of that or be located in the front of that at, at or below that level. So if we think about, again, the architectural details, that all of a sudden doesn't become recognizable because it blends so cleanly into the front of that barrier arm structure instead of, again, being so in your face. So that's where headlight stickers give you a lot of flexibility that the traditional RFID application doesn't give you. Thank mm -hmm. you.